my lovely people. Before we start this month's readings, I just want to give you my heartfelt thanks and gratitude for all of your amazing support and comments. Some of you will have seen a post that I put up the week of the 10th of September asking for your help. Um, and I will do a video about asking for help because people really do struggle with it. I struggled with it. But we really should put it out there to ask for help when we need it. And I did this week. Um, and in my post, uh, which is on my channel, if you want to have a look at it, I've said that Spain is not for me. I've done what I meant to do here. Um, I've learned what I needed to learn and I want to go home. However, and that's home to England, uh, however, um, I was in that eight of swords space of feeling very trapped and stuck. How, how, how? Um, it costs me several thousand pounds to come here and I don't have that to go home. So I'll have to wait for months to save it. And my inner self said, no, you're not waiting months. You're going soon. You need to ask for help. So I've put that out there. And the avalanche of love and support I've had from you guys has just been incredible. People booking in extra sessions, some of you making donations, many of you, most of you sending love, support, positive thinking, adding your energy to my manifestations. I know this is happening and I know it's right for me and it feels just amazing to have your support. Um, and some of the beautiful comments about the way that I helped so many and now it's time they want to help me back is lovely. This reciprocal energy is wonderful. But this channel that I run to help people inspire, uplift and guide um, is very important to me and to you. And your donations make a massive difference, whether it be, you know, from a dollar up to five dollars or more. It all helps. Um, it helps to support my work so that I can help many people. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your love and help. Now then, let's get on with October's readings. Hello Taurus, how are you my darlings? I do hope you've had a better September than you had the other month. So is it going in the right direction? Let's see what the cards say. So can we have some information for Taurus please? For October 2018, clear, concise messages from your higher self, from the universe. What can we tell Taurus for October please? Ooh, King of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Oh, strength. I want that one as well. Oh, the page is coming in, the page of cups. Okay, let's have a look. Why? Please clarify strength. Please clarify strength. Hermit. A lot of major arcana here. A lot of powerful cards. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Can I have some more information for Taurus? We've got an ending of this burden. Wow, good. Okay. <laughs> and the chariot. So let's have a look at these cards together, guys. Let's see what we get for my lovely Taurians. So we're starting off the month. I'm just asking, what is the overall energy for this month? And they're saying the chariot, the movement, we're moving forward. The chariot is kicking in. Yes, good stuff. All right, so we're starting the month with this beautiful King of Pentacles. So he is, let's have a look at him on the screen there. He's looking over, he is looking over at the page. All right, so let's have a little look here. The King, strong assertive financially strong if it isn't there yet he knows it's coming because he's done the work and he knows it's on its way what else can we say about the king of pentacles what is this about okay so what they're saying is you know guys you've had a rough year and at times you've i wouldn't say crumbled some of you have but on the whole you've hung in there but it's been draining it's been hard work it's been exhausting but what it has done is it has increased that strength that beautiful strong bull energy that you have at times you just wanted to say i give up but 
you hang in there and what it's done is it's strengthened your strength it's made you stronger it's made you more powerful it's made you more resilient you look back at this year and think i don't know i got through some of those months but i did and actually there is in my core deep in my core now a stronger me than there was at the beginning of the year and they're just asking me to ask you to please look back at where you were at the beginning of the year January February and where you are now within yourself and you will see that growth and as you see the growth you can look back at that time and instead of thinking oh my god woe is me it's not fair pity party I've had a terrible time I'm a victim you'll look back at that and say actually that was a blessing in disguise because I am so much stronger for it now and actually I'm quite glad that happened even though it was tough at the time so this strength these two cards are really about showing you where you are now so that you can acknowledge that and you can step into this beautiful strength that you have and this power of the king and say woohoo go me now you can take that forward you're taking yourself forward into the rest of the year with this strength with this much more assertive you much stronger you now the page wants to come in here the page of what is he cups yeah page of cups wants to come in here with an offer all right now cups is happiness cups is good news page is coming in with an offer here now what is that offer about we're going to have to get some more cards on that but whatever it is it is because you've done this work of the hermit you've done that introspection you've gone within you've looked at your life yourself your situations you've spent a little time alone and some of you have left relationships and are now single and that was a tough thing to do and it was tough to learn how to be on your own again but you did it and now you're in this good space so I'm going to just ask them to clarify what is this offer that is coming in from the page of cups because whatever this offer is it is an ending of the burden that you've been carrying this is the card of carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and feeling exhausted um, but this is this is done this at the beginning of the month you are feeling well i'm feeling by the end of september going into october you're feeling now this burden i feel like i've put it down i have put it down and i am stretching my back up from where he's bent over double almost um and this is done because we're moving forward we've got this chariot saying now we're moving forward um, this started in September picking up picking up and the thing is with these readings even though they're for a month they can often go into the next month or even the month after so you know this momentum has started and is continuing to pick up through October with things feeling like they flow better that they are coming together better do I want that one no put it back in can you please clarify what this offer is? Can we have some more information for my beautiful Taurians, please? What is this offer that is coming in? No. They do take their time on that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the offer. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card of, obviously, money and coins and work to do with employment, business. But it's also a creative card. He's got all those different projects going on. Some of them are not necessarily formed yet. They can be ideas, you know. I'm seeing, you know, like in the cartoons when you get the little bubble above the head and uh, something written in there. I'm feeling that some of these pentacles that are floating above there um, have not quite formed yet, but they're in the ethers, okay. They are forming. So there is a shift here. We're moving forward. Now, I'm just going to ask about career for some of you. Because this is a card very often of um, the work that you're doing starting to really come together. Um, so can I have some information about career? Is that page related? For some of you, the page of cups is related to a job offer. I'm also getting that for some of you, this is relating to an offer of friendship and help. 
and friends already around you that are coming forward more because I know for some of you especially with that hermit there you've kind of gone through most of this on your own um, we're not very good asking for help um, I'm going to do a video on that because I recently put a public post on my YouTube channel asking for help and I've had loads of comments saying you know I've had a similar thing and I just didn't have it in me to ask for help so I carried on struggling um, so I think I need to do something about uh, a little video to help you to understand the benefits of asking for help anyway let's crack on what else do we want to say please we're back to that page of cups can I have some more information about the page of cups please okay we've got the queen of cups that's come out here along with the page of cups all right so she's holding her cup i'm drawn to the fact that that sky is pretty dark there on the horizon there's clouds but there's also some sun there but whatever's going on she's like i'm good <laughs> i don't care you know if it's a bit stormy that's fine i am good i'm in a good place i'm in a strong place i feel like i've got it together sometimes for some of you for the first time in ages i feel like i've got it together all right so can i have is that what yeah they're saying for some of you that's what it is that's what that page coming in is it's not necessarily an outside offer it's that sense within yourself that i've got it together and that makes me feel bloody marvelous it makes me feel empowered it makes me feel strong and happy it's not applying for everybody though can i have some more information about that please can i have some more information for my taurus that one yeah okay six of wands guys six of wands this is the card of success achievements recognition you recognizing which is what they're saying to me about these cards you recognizing how far you have come this year how much you've changed how much stronger you are and by doing that you are stepping into that queen of cups you are starting to feel just in your core stronger and happier and more content and um, despite all the ups and downs of this year you're like yeah look at where i've got to and look at what i've achieved this year and look how i handled that situation i'm so proud of myself because this is a card of recognizing your achievements you know he's there parading through the streets people are looking at him and cheering and clapping so yes sometimes this recognition comes from outside ourselves by other people and they're like oh my god i'm so proud of you but it, it's not always about other people recognizing. We need to recognize. So this is saying recognize your achievements because you want to be celebrating them and realizing that actually I'm in a good place now. I am in a good place now. Let's have a look what the Syrian want to add. Can I have some information for Taurus, please? For October. Taurus for October. Can I have some information? We're just going to split this pack. Okay. We've got the hanging man. Actually, um, Aries had this too. So the hanging man is a card of acceptance. I don't care if I'm hanging around. I'm good. I don't care what's going on there and that situation around me because I'm not letting it bother me. I'm just chilling out and waiting until I feel it's the right time. So what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Let's have a little look. But it is about waiting. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Ten of chalices, ten of cups. So this is my cup runneth over. Well, that's what I am hanging around for. I am learning how to go with the flow of life. I am learning how to not let other things bother me. I have learned how to overcome ch challenges and I am in this space where I feel emotionally really good, really good. And it's, all right, so they're saying, look, this isn't a big month of doing, action, changing, da, da, da. Yes, we've got the chariot there, but I'm feeling that this chariot is more about you moving into yourself, you moving into this space of personal recognition and achievement of realizing how strong you are and it making you feel really happy and content 
And it's from that space then that we move forward. When we're moving forward from a place of desperation and unhappiness, guess what? Lots of things go wrong. But when we're moving forward from that introspection that you did with that hermit card, from that place that you've done that work, you are moving forward now feeling in yourself and in your core really good and really strong. And I'm so pleased for you guys. That is such good news. All right, let's see what the angels want to add. Oh, they want that one. Positive intention. And I want this one too. The transformation. I'm just asking because, right, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Let me explain. <laughs> okay. The transformation has been done, but without it being recognized, it's not anchored. Now, what does that mean? What do I mean by that? Okay, so we can learn all sorts of things. We can change all sorts of things. But until we can look at it and take the growth from it, it's kind of not quite complete. So you've done this transformation, you've done this hard work, but you haven't really noticed. And you haven't sort of said, right, I've, I've now got all these new tools in my toolbox that I can use. And how am I going to use that now? So what we want to do when we've gone through big transformation, which you have, um, is to be able to take the learning, all right? How have I grown? In what way have I changed? Where am I at now compared to where I was? Yes, I can see how much stronger I am. This is wonderful. Then that is complete. And then we're moving forward with this positive intention, with this learning, the new tools in my toolkit to be able to go forward into November. And my feeling is as you're going forward into November, as we get to the end of October, things are really smoothing out for you. And my goodness me, don't you deserve it? All right. Anything else I want to add? No, that's all. Um, just to, yeah, just to add for those of you who haven't seen my dailies, um, you'll find at the end of each day there's a, a little two or three minute daily affirmations which are to help you get in the attitude of gratitude, help you start the day on the right footing. Um, so if you want to check them out, the link will be at the end of this video. All right, my darlings. I will see you in November for more messages from your angels and higher self. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.